Hello, I'm Janie Shiflett. I'm one of your instructional technology specialists here with Floyd County Schools. And our tech tip for today is all about rapid identity and how you have the ability to recover your password in the event that you have forgotten it, especially after those long breaks. So um, let's look and see how we can recover those passwords. So before we begin looking at password recovery, I do want to point out that if you are at sso.floydboe.net and you look into your account, from here you can actually change your password on your own. Just put in your current password and change that in the event that you um, want to use something different. You also have the ability right here to reset your challenge responses. We set up those challenge responses when you were setting up Rapid Identity and you may or may not have remembered them. So this would be a great place to go ahead and take a look at those to make sure you know what they are because you will need these when you do the password recovery. Um, let me log out of here because if I have forgotten my password, the easiest thing for me to do is to from somebody else's computer, from your phone, um, just anywhere where you can find a web browser, go to sso.floydboe.net once you have logged in there, then you can click forget, um, forgot username and password and forgot my password. Your username is always going to be your school email address, um, which I think most of you remember. So first things first, you put in your school email address. And then that's where they prompt you for those three questions that I was just telling you about. So make sure that you remember what those are. Once you have put those responses in and hit next, it will then prompt you to change your password um, and then your password will be complete. So um, at that point, you will have recovered your password on your own and then you can log in using that new password you just set up. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or you need some help, please always just reach out to your local ITS. We are always happy to help you.